Coach Brown in the short sprints on the men's side, uh, a lot like the intermediate group. You guys have a, a lot of returners that have done big things. You've also got a lot of newcomers that are, are looking to uh, contribute. On the returner side, uh, no name probably bigger than Isaiah Moore, who was a, a first-team All-American in the 110 hurdles in 2017. Missed last year because of his foot injury, but he's back. Uh, he's already looking fantastic, and I know both in the 60 indoors and in the, the 110 outdoors, you guys are expecting him to be at Nationals again this year. Yeah, we're very excited about Isaiah. Isaiah's healthy. He's the strongest he's ever been since he's been here. Training is going really, really well, and, uh, and, and is showing on the track right now in practice. Uh, Isaiah has been to the NCAA championships. He's a scorer from the NCAA championships, so it's great leadership for the group of, uh, of men. Uh, on the, the short sprint side of things, Daryl Singleton moving into his junior year has, I, I know, really been training well for you guys, laying down some really fast times. Uh, he's a guy that hasn't contributed yet at the conference or the national level, but he's showing signs that he might be ready to break through. Yeah, definitely. Daryl's development has come along as we expected, you know, from the time he's a freshman to now. And uh, he's gotten stronger. He's got adapted to the uh, training. And, and we're looking forward to some great things for him. Uh, he's, he's leading the, the group of young guys that we have, too. And so that, that, that bodes well for the season coming up for him. A lot of newcomers in this group. Uh, Carlos Wilson, I know uh, a South Carolina native who went out to Texas State for a year, made the NCAA championships in the 4x1, and also individually, I know, made the West Regional in the 100 meters. Now he's part of the group, and he leads a big group of newcomers for you guys, Evan Miller, Ronald Fuller from, uh, from you know, a local high school product. Uh, you guys have a, a lot of options to mix and match in the four by one relay, and then individually, you want big things out of those guys. Yes, definitely. It's it's a very competitive group right now. The energy is high in all the training sessions. Uh, when you have guys that are competitive and guys that have uh, credentials like those guys, like Carlos Wilson being a guy that's been to the NCAA championships, and then um, Ronald Fuller, who was the best uh, sprinter in the state of South Carolina coming out of uh, high school last year, joining the group. And then you have Evan Miller coming here, whose father is an alumni of the Gamecocks uh, football team. So brings a lot of energy here. The guys are competitive, and it, it makes great for training. But we're really looking forward to uh, those guys holding each other accountable every day coming to work. So that's going to help us throughout the season. I got to think, uh, and I know we're a long way from uh, from May and the postseason, but I got to think getting that four by one through to Austin in the NCAA championships is a goal for you guys. Oh, absolutely. That's a goal for us with that many uh, guys that we have that are options for us. Gives us the best chance to get that, uh, get that relay through to the finals uh, to Austin. So we're looking forward to that as well. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.